Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Chain Echoes. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here, getting some stuff done, and we found out about your plan to work with another country to help us take out Tarn. Preparation's done, once we start the mission, we need a bit more time. Alright, so yeah, let's go out and uh, get some things accomplished here. Sounds like a good call to me. Lady Bran is the la Lady Parnella's sister. Green Frederick allows her to rule over Gravos, but she has to follow everybody says. Only a few parts of the castle remain intact after the explosion from last year. Alright. So, what do you say? Only a few parts of the castle. Alright. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, get out of here, why don't we? Um, someone mentioned that the, the, platypus, the platypus group does have a secret. So, I'm gonna follow them again. I'm imagining it's something to do with that, like, s weird square that they made. Um, like, maybe I missed some sort of detail about it. I thought they would be leading me somewhere. But I wasn't sure what was going on, and I wasn't seeing it, so... Yeah, it allows me to go through here... Up here... And then, yeah, you go around here, and then you make, like, a little square. Do I have to, like, press A there or something? Elixir. I see. Okay, so I had to press A where you were doing that. I was trying to copy you. Okay, so I imagine Elixir is exactly what I think it is, right? Heals all TP, HP, and TP. Yep, yep, that's, uh, that's pretty good to get. That's the kind of item that you never use, or some people never use. Um, I usually use Elixirs. <laughs> um... I'm like, uh-uh, I got this shit, I'm going to use it. I'm not the person that hoards it like a dragon until the end of the game, so... You know. I'd rather use it than not use it. So we may be using that at some point, uh, going through here. Wait, it won't let me leave? Uh, I guess I could just leave like this. There we go. Alright, so... We took care of that, and yeah, the new thing appeared on the map. This was it, right? This is that thing that person talked to us about? Yes, there's the carrot. Oh god, I gotta fight him again. They were not pushovers last time, so I'm a little bit intimidated here. There you are, there's the bell pepper. Wait, do I not have to fight you again? That would be pretty awesome if I didn't have to fight you again. Okay, hello. Do you want me to go in here? For what reason? Oh god, we got- we got brooms moving on their own. We're in a Disney movie. Hi. Weird. Okay. There's a pig. With a cigar. Oh no, we've been spotted! What? Also, your name is Hamlet. Um... Hi? What is going on here? Oh no! Jump, Hamlet! Uh... Okay... I am going to continue following you, piggies. Everything alright, Becky? I bacon absorbed the fall. Quick, to the boss! Okay, apparently I don't have to fight Shushleek again. Huh... How dare you intruders threaten my piglets! Feel our wrath! Um... Fridolin. Okay. This is probably a reference that's going over my head right now, but, uh... Alrighty, uh, guess we're- guess we're dealing with this. Um... I'm gonna save your ultra move until I lower your, like, defenses a little bit, so... Let's go ahead and armor break. With Glenn. Uh, Earthstream Spirit with you, so we can get that summon going. Uh, Shielding Mazurka on Victor. And now you can use your ultra move because your defenses are annihilated. That ability is so good on Glenn. Big damage coming out of Bothros. Water. Okay, we blocked all of that. Alright, you don't seem super strong. God, you just did 900 damage. Um, water thrust. Yeah, you don't have any specific kind of weakness status. You know what? Let's Poetic March. Screw it. Let's just go all in. 467. There's the wind. Cross Slash? How much is this gonna do? Oh my 
god! Look at the damage! Oh, it's ridiculous. Okay, there's heavy. So we can drop a Terra now. 1,000! Oh my god, we're so strong. Oink, oink, oink. Oink. They stopped talking. And those vegetables are back to normal too. What? Oh, what should I do? It's all too much. Oh, what a tragedy. Frontier seems to have been playing around with magic. King animals talk and giving objects a soul as of the highest magic. How can it be that a farmer has mastered it? Oh, come on in first and I'll tell you all about my misfortune. Let's have a good drink, wash down the sorrow. Here, my name's Friedolin. I'm actually from Raban and was head of a mage academy. You are Friedolin of Raban? We met at the mage convention in Shadoria last year. I didn't recognize you at all. What are you doing here? Well, I had enough of my life in Nebrelia, enough of this eternal warmongering. I want to use my magic for good, but in Nebrelia it was mostly used for war. That's why I fled and opted for a quiet life in the countryside. You don't seem particularly happy about it. How could I be? I'm the worst farmer ever. I'm still giving you the southern accent, though. I wanted to farm without relying on spells, but my hands are full of blisters and my back hurts without end. I'm a failure. Can't do anything except magic. Another sip. Oh, yeah, Tomk. You're actually here. Wow, this is interesting. I wonder if I had to recruit Tomk before doing this, since you have something to say. Being talented is one thing enough. Not everyone has to be able to do everything. Dolan, my friend, I think you need a little vacation first. You think so? There's a vacation island in the south. People from the free cities are mostly found there. Vacation? Hmm. You guys are right. Maybe I should follow your advice. Once I'm recovered, I can reconsider the matter. I'll leave immediately. Here, take this as a thank you. Is it a rusty weapon? Hamlet! Becky! Come on, we're heading south. Yay, my skin could use a little tan. Side quests, a little vacation completed. Beautiful. Complete the quest, a little vacation. Finish the quest. Oh, okay, we get a soul of our niece, not a rusty weapon. Okay, well, good. Complete the quest, a little vacation. We did it. All right. Well, a soul of our niece is a great thing to grab. And we did get a Grimoire Shard out of this as well. That's the main thing, so let's see what we can get here. You know what? Um, I don't like that there's, like, no sound. It's, uh, it's creeping me out, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave here really quickly. Um, and then we'll... There we go. Wait. Wait, why is it telling me to go down here now? What? Oh, wait, well, we're going to the island! Where they're gonna have the vacation! Oh my god, okay. Okay, well that's neat. Well, I love that this has the Arkans, uh, Archipelago music because this song slaps, in case you were wondering. All right, so Glenn continues to be the most ridiculous monstrosity I've ever seen in my life. Um, let's see, up here, Fire Strike, Water Strike. Honestly, even exploiting elemental weaknesses, would this even be stronger than Cross Slash? 0.7 per hit, which means it's 2.1 times damage. So maybe this is 1.8. We'd, we'd have to try it. I am interested, though. But for right now, I think not worrying about that is fine. I would rather have, like, more HP and defense on Glenn. So let's get that for now. But I am interested in Water and Fire Strike. Cheer? I don't know that I need. Uh, defend, gain HP, Silver Lining, Fallen Restoration, Restore CP based on how many summons you have, Grants Berserk, um, gain HP after kill. Let's give you more HP, Bothraz. I might just want HP on everyone, so. Draw status elements, Bell of the Wind, Bell of the Earth, Auto Aura, Critical Up, Magic plus two. Let's just give you Defense Victor. I just want you to be an unkillable tank. Okay, yeah, and we do have fire and water coat. I need to equip those. I need to equip those really, really badly. 
Deals two times damage if enemy is inflicted. Mm. Um. Lynn, take the magic, I guess. Convert, switch targets HP and TP in percent. Um, I don't think I want that. Not at the moment. Um, critical on Tonk. Um, leg shot maybe on you. I do have increased drops as well. Well, let's get you just HP, Rob. You need HP. But I've got I've already gotten all of the defense things for you. So let's give you Aura instead. And Sienna. Do you like Evasion Master? Round scales with user's agility. Or I could get you more agility. Let's get you Evasion Master first, though. Alright, and uh, yeah, I need to set those skills on Lin, because right now you have Cleanse, which is nice. Water Thrust, Fire Thrust, and Wind Thrust. Maybe I get rid of the jumps. Because I do like Fire Coat, Water Coat. So yeah, let's just let's just take that. The jumps can take a hike for now. Um, these seem cool. Could be very very useful in a fight, and I want to keep cleanse and earth stream spirit, obviously. Alrighty, uh, we do probably have enough to level some things up, actually. So what do we want? Arms break. Let's level up counter attack on Glenn. Bothras. Um, magic up, magic up, TP gain up. Let's, uh, go ahead and buff your light sword. Oh, I don't have enough. Um, hmm. We'll wait on you then. Victor. Uh, TP cost down, I think probably best for you. Uh, we can max out Wind Thrust on you. And Earthstream Spirit too, actually. That one's quite good. We've been using that one a lot. Um, you... <laughs> Tom, I'm not really using you that much, friend. Uh, let's save up for the HP or defense up. Uh, increase drops for Rob, I think. Oh no, Toxic Shot. You can upgrade that. Um, Malia, defense up, or crest block, don't have enough. Um, alright, Dragon Fang for Sienna, we don't have enough. Okay, that's fine. Uh, still not from target with 100, eh, I want Pilfer to have 100% chance. I'm tired of that stuff missing. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We should be good. My audacity, it looks like, it looks like my waveforms are like really quiet right now, but um... My volume and everything looks normal. I don't know why the waveforms would be really quiet. Hopefully everything's good here. If they are quiet, I mean, I can just turn them up in post, but I don't I don't know why they would be. A peaceful place. I can forget all worries that await in Volandis. For some reason, it smells like bacon. Yep, there you are. There you go. Guess it was a good idea to come relax here. Oh, it is a bit boring. Alright, well at least we got to come to this place. What is this? Rusty Anchor. This is where we get it. Makes sense. In our little resort island. Pay a lot of taxes to make tar and leave us alone on this island. Been here for some moons now and I won't return until Volandis' problems are solved. Or until I run out of money. So yeah, this, this whole island was just to get the Rusty Anchor for Tonk. Gotcha. Alright, well, that's cool. So, now that we've done that, um... So now we should go back to Perpetua and do all of that. Let's let's go grab some more skills for Tomk, though. Um, the Bestiary. So, let's go, let's go look for some more of these enemies. Titan Elemental, where were you at? The Cor Cortara. And Vin, we're in the Fiora Woods. And an Alphorn, we're also in Cortara, so... Yeah, let's go grab some of those. Tom could use some uh, some more abilities, methinks. Now, the question is, where in the world were those things at? The Alphorn were up here, weren't they? I believe so. This is where they were. 
I think like right up here. Yeah, yeah, here they are. Hopefully I can take them now, like in a normal fight. Here's hoping, let's see. Um, nope, 233, 138. And I'm not doing a ton of damage to them. I still don't think I can take those on foot. And I specifically need to be able to fight them on foot to get the thing that I want for, uh, for you. Hmm. Tom. Okay, so then we just need to find a Titan Elemental, which... Where were those at? I do not quite remember. I want to say they were kind of over in this area, but it might be crazy. Here's where the stupid thing is. Oh god, I don't need to be... I don't need to be in my mechs, though. Yeah, here's where the dumb thing was. My god. Forgot they were over here with the water flies. Alright, well, um, Glenn has to swap with Tonk, so that's what needs to happen here. We need to use, yeah, so let's just go ahead and slap them all with that. Swap with Tonk, um, Hard Swing, Freak Wave, Cigarettes Light, sure, we'll Cigarettes Light. Oh my god, it's a giant one! It's a giant cigarette! Oh my god. Okay. Well then. Well, I'm glad I was able to find this stupid thing. Oh my god. It was, uh, being quite a pain. Earth weakness, you're very, very cute. Alright, Titan Elemental. We just need you to have slightly less HP here. There we go. So, now we should be able to just pass until we get back to Tom's turn, and we should be able to can you. Good. Uncanny encounter. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. Thank you. So what's our new skill? Um, let's check it out. Uh, spinach power. Grant shield and aura for five turns all. Oh god, that's really good. Whoa. Okay, spinach pa that's very good. That covers me for both of them. That's like a better version of Amalia's skills. Okay, so we can't take out the Alphorns on foot yet. So the next thing I needed to go for was a Vin, which I know exactly where those are. Um, dungeon enemies, are there any new ones here? A Seahorse Knight? Shit, where were those? Ice Devils? Oh god, I don't quite remember where those were. Um, Alright, well, I know where the Vin is, so we can we can go get the Vin. Um, and I can remind myself of where the other things are. Uh, we need to go to Fjordwoods. What am I doing? So, over here. And there is a Vin. I did not mean to go back up in my ship. I keep trying to press bra uh, back to bring up the map and stuff. So, there were Vin, like, right around here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, that was easy. Right by where we land. Beautiful. Oh my god, a free counterattack like that. Let's go ahead and switch to Tonk now. Um, and these things like Earth. Well, let's cigarette light them. I can't believe it's just a giant cigarette that comes down and hits them all. It's kind of crazy. Um, fire jump. That'll kill two of them. And now there's one left. Victor shouldn't kill. Yeah, there we go. And that should be low enough health for you to get canned here. Alright, so what is that? What do we just get? Learn skill with Tonk. Know your limits. Skills cost no TP for three turns. Afterwards, the user loses all TP. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, that's something to keep an eye on, I suppose. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to go back to Perpetua, right? Because, well, there was something in the Fjord Woods. What's, what's the thing in the... Oh, it's... That's the thing in the Fjord Woods. It's telling me about the lever. But I still need to get the one in Perpetua. I never found out where this one was, yeah? Let's see. 
on all levers and head. Oh wait, no, 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 we did get that one. Okay, no, we we did get all the ones. Okay, so let's get back over here and pop into this now. Then, yep, yep, we're in here now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, and we discovered a fast travel location and whatever in the world that is. Um, we will go back here. Yeah, I forgot I did get that one in Perpetua. Um, that time. Let's see. Okay, we got a buried treasure here. Book? Not much rarer than rivers or mountains in our beautiful world are the trees. They grow on every corner, from the sturdy redwoods on the peaks of the Ramunda Mountains that defy all winds, to the scrawny little trees of the Doma Desert that can go for months without water. All these trees are nothing more than children in the course of time, for their age rarely exceeds a thousand years. Every now and again, however, one finds an old one, a chief from bygone eras that has inherent magic. This generation of trees is often, but not always, very large. Walnut representatives are the Algarf tree on Shambhala. This is that giant one I've seen on the map. Or the Haleiva tree in Volandis. However, not much is known about the oldest of the old trees. Moria, known as the tree without memory or the lonely tree. Or the old ones. Our knowledge comes from legends, and these suggest that it stands in Pangea, the northernmost continent, populated only on the coast. As one of the ancients, Moria has a personality, and he feared loneliness, because the young trees around him no longer spoke his language. Ooh, that sucks. So through his magic, he tried to learn the one language that everyone spoke, the language of life, the ether. He dug his roots so deep that they not only penetrated the entire earth, but also broke through reality and plunged their tips into the ocean of the maelstrom. Since then, the Old One searches the memories of the unliving and listens to their stories. I've experienced something like that before, about a, a tree that is like, you know, sapient and can just, um... Like... It basically learns how to speak and it has a personality, although its personality is so old and its language is so old at that point that no one can really communicate with it. Let's see what the strike... I imagine I know what the strike first ram does, but let's let's check it anyway. Strike first ram. 100% chance to ask, act first in battle. Yeah, cool. Alright, um, I did pick up some more gems while we were exploring Cortara, but um, I'm seeing now that they're so common, I really don't need to show it every single time, I don't think. So... Uh, I need to find another one of the buried treasure indicator things. Did I walk past one in the previous room? Um, I'm sitting... Uh, my computer's in front of my window, and it's very sunny out, so I'm like a little bit blinded by light at the moment. Door seems to be locked from the other side. Okay. Well, I want to find this uh, other buried treasure spot. But I'm not seeing it. Let's look down here. Did I miss it? Is it hidden somewhere? Let's see, there it is. There it is, right over there in the corner. There was so much stuff strewn all over the place. Like, right here, maybe? No? Okay, well, if it's not that, then... Maybe these two? How they intersect? No? Uh-uh. Here we go, there we go. Crit damage up. Beautiful. Alright. Give me five ancient skulls. We still got some more progress to make in Ogre and Grottos. We gotta fight 15 vampires. Intimidating. Alright, so let's go see what this is. The elephant in the room. You wanna take the elevator down? Yes. The view is amazing. Words fail me. That he has really sunk in one piece. The buildings are all standing, for the most part, that is. Up there, the wyverns fly like a flocks of birds. Combined with the fog, it's no wonder you can't reach Niza via the crater. Somewhere down there dwells Asnadiel. I'm so excited to see him! Are these true kings really that interesting? What are you saying, little one? Of course they are! They are the strongest, most powerful creatures in all of Eldrea! They can destroy whole cities within a few seconds! And they are all so mysterious! In Vadi, there's a mountain that was famous for its twin wind caves. Strong winds flowed in and out. No explorer could enter the cave and come out alive. Either the wind pulled the explorers deep into the caves, or it hurled them out of the mountain. It was not until a hundred years later that geologists found out that the mountain was not a mountain at all. Once they cleared it of all of its flora, its appearance became visible from a distance. It was in fact a true king. That's scary. 
The ape Meteors Arbo, first true king, also called the Meditating Monk. The caves were nothing but his nostrils. He had been meditating for thousands of years, so he had become one with the environment. Fascinating, isn't it? Reminds me of, like, Bionis and Mechonis. And just, you know, Titans in general and Xenoblade. Second true king is a boar that moves through the world in almost straight lines, piercing a huge moat through the earth. Nothing can stop him. Even a mountain is no obstacle. He simply bores his way through everything. People use his paths as tunnels. Whole villages must give way if the boar approaches them. His trenches are visible even from far up in the sky. The boar Grandalar, second true king, also called the Unwavered. This is neat lore. As Nadiel here is the third king. Since he is hiding here, we don't know much about him. Dragon is Nadiel's third true king, also called the Undying Dreamer. We know even less about the fourth king, but once a century there is an incredible event. A voice resounds all over Eldrea, speaking for several minutes in an unknown language. The voice sounds like a parrot repeating some words. Because of this immense ability, it was classified as a true king. What it looks like and where the voice comes from, no one knows. Herod Ruhan, also called the Divine Voice. This is so interesting. Excuse me, the Majora's Mask, Moon? I do not need to introduce the next true king. We all see him when we look up in the sky at night. Our second moon. The Owl Luna Orbetnus, also called the Watching Eye. I love owls. Quick bit of trivia. Airships only fly up to a certain altitude. But not because they can't technically go any higher, but because otherwise they're trespassing into Luna's territory. He is quick to deal with intruders. Uh, no, 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 Thalassophobia, please. No one has seen the main body of the next true king, but his work influences us all. He creates ebb and flow through his breathing. When he uses his tentacles, giant waves are created. The Kraken Wildyord, also called the Abyss. I don't want to meet you, Thalassophobia and all that jazz, you know. And the last in the line is quite special. It's not a single entity, but is made up of thousands of individuals, a hive mind. It is fast and unstoppable. It contaminates entire cities within a few hours. Rats? The Rat Swarm Carmesinus, seventh true king, also called the Black Plague. Is it a Rat King scenario? Rat Kings are terrifying. The concept of a Rat King, it's it's horrifying, and it's a real thing. It inspired, like, well, I can't say that. That's kind of a spoiler, but something in a game is named after it. Well, enough rambling. We're arriving. <sighs> I don't know now. Ooh. Well, that's scary. There's a wall for me to bust. Hmm. What's wrong? This looks bad. The gate is locked and the key seems to be a complex mathematical puzzle. Oh god, we're screwed. What do we do now? We'll have to solve it. It'll take days, though. I'm slightly annoyed. Still need our help? Huh? Help? No, you're bothering me. Leave me alone. Here's your payment. I'll go away. Do you want to stay here? Have you got any- I hate to repeat myself. Get out of here. I can manage on my own. Something tells me she really can. Okay. The gates to Nyza. We can't quite go in yet, but, uh, we completed the quest. Complete the quest gates to Nyza. And what was my reward? We... We got a reward. I guess it was just money. Step into Nyza. Five adamantite. Okay, and complete the quest, the gates to Nyza. Magic Academy Nyza. Alright. By the way, um, reward board. I got another grimoire shard out of that. Yay. Well, that's good. Um, I'm guessing the wall I need to break is not here because uh, I do not see it, so. Alright, let's, uh, let's learn some new skills, why don't we? Um, what do I want here? Probably defense up for Glenn. And then... Ooh, well, the spell would be good, too. Never mind, let's get the spell hit. Because you hit three times. So that's three chances of triggering Dispel, which would be quite useful. Uh, Bothra's, uh, here's your magic. Victor. Auto Aura, Silence Resistance. Silence Resistance could be good. Um, I already have Beasting on you. Uh, not that. Silence Resistance. And you... We can get Wind Coat. 
sure. Tonk, uh, I think I want that spinach power for you. Um, you... And defense. You... Save TP. And you, we have agility up, we have vision master, let's get... Agility plus one. All right, that looks good to me. And we do need to set some new skills. So you can have wind coat. You have spinach power. You have drunken master and herbal bruise. What else could I give you? Blade reflection and stuff. Eh. You have everything. What about passives? Attack up, increase drops. Attack up, crit up, more rare drops, crit damage up. Counter agility up. Okay, so I need evasion and evasion master on you. Um, but what do I take off for that? I do like the idea of both of these. Just turning you into an absurd tank. I, but we have to sacrifice our crit to do so. So evasionist. Attack up, agility up. So you'll be super fast and you'll basically be an evasion tank. I I don't know. I, I like that. I haven't been using Sienna for much else, so... The idea of giving you a specialty like that sounds cool to me, so... Alrighty! Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chain Echoes, and I'll see you next time for some more.